Ebraso, tamo aso, tamo aso. Yo, Busuya, wede wa Ghana TV sunye na. Ana gwide ya ntia sempabia. Ana sema yatino anye nyayi. Areho na. Sana wa seba. Sana se dinyame peno oye. Obiye su niti mkwa shinyame. Me mama se mwenye tentieno. Ninyi nane se. Eye. Openike siye ba kwe ba Ghana politics mwa. Udin tintimba yi pa na wajidini. Bison. Kwanya ofaso. Nini nkita hundiyo politics kwa asu ni ya deno. Bacho mechire openi. Loya kodju uusu efriye. Loya. Kodjo Ousu Efriye. Pacho, lawyer Kodjo Ousu Efriye eye former general secretary of the ruling party, NPP, New Patriotic Party, ruling government. Pacho, ono nene ye general secretary and sana ye tuwa ba ama ura John Bwedu ba, ebe ji akunyano Efriye nisem as general secretary. Na sisi ya mnoka se lawyer Kodjo Ousu Efriye Eye ubia ono ene ye chairman of forestry commission. Forestry commission. Eye la ya kujuu usefri ye ono ene ye puntu treni anase chairman ya oda forestry commission ano. Mensa aso mfa nkwe chile na anu ya ambe na oche ne kakrenius na oche mye nini. Ena la ya kujuu usefri ye ni sister ba kwa nsufri mu. Enti na enche ya kurani nisa peni ba kwa nsufri mu. But ubi nti mi mwono adia poti ya ABA SC. Nanso, awa hukusem aya wane se lawyer kujo uusue friye se John. Sisi ya diye ka ati asifuwa unka hun ABM. Nini nanse papayi efra nintuma awa netinti mi ya chese. Ye awa hukusem ye pa. Na weno ena ya na nkofo bebre agene. Ebi tumi ya kubase au sabri ya ya wo COVID-19 bre mwi. Ya chese ya rebu ubi Ana sebi ubi tuwana na namu wansie duwa Diye banko ufuwa jimu nse anyibia Eye ya rie kudie uibi Enda dine kwa na Ana sese ni sitie Ni ina muno Pape uu Seme nwa kase edie Yinya insi sudu ya adie potinya A ikuno Di ini maana se papano Atuwa na namu e wansie du Nisa nsie nemo Eye wanga ana TV Tifo ni ashofo Abreni abreni nano Yedjume diye nise Pibi ebisi biya na ebama monso Mwanya first hand information Tino Nesa diye ne ba Eosi itumi obo modene Nama ema monso Masun etumi etibiye Inti ena yedi tuja Tine chese ebripo mono Se yehun adie poti A Ede ye papa Anase Eye New Patriotic Party Fuo ni papa kwe chese Oso mbo pa Pape yi Dia dibe kaa na kakra ene ne kasa. Dibi yo kasa. Oye ubi ase ne kasa ano. Ni minu mu esi kakra. Ye eche se otane. Ubi mu se tama oye jina secretary no ne. Anoda jina secretary of the National Democratic Congress. Ana se the largest opposition party in Ghana. Amu jina secretary. A oda sumpu. Eye jina secretary. Mechile. Hona bo esi du nketia. Jina mosquito. No otane no. Ete shi shi apa ewo Oma gwene chili chili muno We tu mani nyonko ni wiyatu wa mani nyonko Ena mwene saani mani man Kasa bebri bi oho Ya edibe kai loya kujuu uusu efriye Ndiwidiye Asamke siye pa na hatu gana Asamke siye pa na hatu gana Chanse pape yu bia oye Ama nyoni kasiye ya wajidini Chase gana hadi Ubia nenji politise chibiano Oni msedi ya papa hii. Ni bobre ewa politismu esi etie. Niti ene edie. E kwa kwa yadi ibise enye NPP. Ena enye NDC. Ni mumu eye politika. Fratani tinini na ena. Sa bridge atom. Anase Ghana mai. Because wa ye public officer. Awa ye medika haka sa wa ye chairman of forestry commission. Niti no neti se ye Ghana. Ena enya. Yegusu ya diye ni udiye chile, ye ni e diye chile. Adiye poti ye yini free at S4 sasi isu no. Ye saka ana ye hishu mouma ye huwa. Ye bama wanga ana ashofone ya tifu nye naso. Ensa etumi akabi. Midiane nana kofi eje isi kapa. Frem na eje ibema fenten frem na minyoso. Eye wanga ana tiyevi iso. Ene ye.
between 2010 and 2014, uh, when he served as General Secretary of the MPP. Uh, he wanted to contest again, but he lost uh, his space for a second term as General Secretary to Cabinet the bomb. But the brief about him is that he, uh, he is from the Ashanti region. Uh, he comes from a town known as uh, Uyo. Uh, we know that he attended the seven-day Adventist Secondary School in Bakwai, where he obtained his GCE honorary level certificate. He then proceeded to obtain his GCE advanced level certificate from the Konongo Automatic Secondary School in Konongo. Uh, he was then admitted to study political science at the University of Ghana. He then enrolled at the Ghana School of Law where he graduated with a Bachelor's of Law. After this, he was admitted as a solicitor and counsel for the Supreme Court of the Republic of Ghana. Now, about his political life, apart from the fact that he served as General Secretary of the MPP from 2010 to 2014, uh, until his demise, he was the Chief Executive of the Forestry Commission and is well known for some of his comments, the appearance before the Supreme Court and uh, his famous, uh, you know, comment that even if President Okufuado was in the real, MP was still going to present him in the 2016 election. So this is about him. Uh, after, you know, what we've been told is that he was uh, at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital in the intensive care on ventilator, but unfortunately passed on this morning, uh, this afternoon. Well, so what's the information that we are picking up? We know that he he, he took ill just a few days ago, but what exactly uh, do we know took him to the ICU? Well, it is unclear for now, even though if you check uh, uh, what is on social media, people are attributing it to COVID-19, but there's not been any confirmation uh, from the Kolebu Teaching Hospital or his doctors about what may have ended his life. But what we do know is that uh, he had been at the intensive care unit of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital for some time now, and indeed he was on a ventilator for a while before giving up uh, the ghost. And I have been speaking to uh, some you know, people who are close to the president, and they are telling me that the president you know, took the news very hard because this is somebody we're closely with. In fact, Sir John's love for President Kufuado was unquestionable uh, during his lifetime. And he was one of few who said, and I want to repeat, before the 2016 election, when there was talk about whether, whether President Kufuado should run again on the ticket of the MPP because he had been there in 2008 and 2012 and lost to the NDC. And some people in the, uh, some people in the MPP were, uh, were of the view that it was time for the party to present a fresh face for the 2016 election. Sir John is quoted to have said that even if President Kufuado uh, was in a wheelchair, the MPP was still going to present him as their candidate in 2016 because he didn't see anybody behind Kufuado to lead the party in 2016. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. And then when the party won, uh, he was made the chief executive of the Forestry Commission. But he's been off the political scene. Uh, for some time now and not much was heard from him i tried to speak to his special aide who will not answer the call but people i spoke to at the jubilee house uh, told me that they uh, they had been in the known about his state of health and the fact that he was within a 50 50 range so i mean it didn't it didn't it didn't come to them as, as a surprise but it came to them as a shock because this is somebody they've been communicating with they have been communicating with before his, uh, his demise this afternoon. Mm. I'm sure you've also been uh, speaking to them about the timing of uh, this, uh, you know, mishap. Uh, really, how are they taking it, knowing that, of course, this is a man that you cannot forget when it comes to uh, campaigning and uh, the role that he played for the MPP to come to power, for instance. How is it going exactly. to impact the party? Exactly, and indeed, after the, uh, the party's special congress, that came up over the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, what information I picked from the uh, from the corridors of power is that uh, the pre president brought together some experienced uh, people within the party to look at the results. It was some shape the campaign going to take because of COVID nineteen. Are they going to hold mass rallies across the country to convince electricity? Uh, the MPP another term. So 
Uh, John Ojosi was one of uh, those the had planned to consult because he had been a general secretary before, and he's quite uh, he was quite you know uh, you know you know a best with the runnings and how to put some of these things together. Unfortunately, the meeting could not come on with his presence because he's no more. And this, from what we've been told, I mean. It, it wasn't something I was taking like, especially when it just got to the president. Because this afternoon he had opened a program at the uh, at the Melvin Peak Hotel, and all of them, according to people who are very close to him, were looking for it to his, to his to his recovery. But the severity of the matter was such that they were also weren't so much. Uh, I mean, they were consciously optimistic in you know. Uh, Getting him to be up and run, unfortunately, it didn't happen the way they wanted, and the man is no longer with us. Brasso, Tamoso, Tamoso, and I am the say, and there, but one of two MPs be back, one MPs be back, yes, they don't know that because one man in your one party state.